So I had a great day one of recording. What's up, Bear? You want to go on your walk or what? <laughs> had a great, uh, great first day of recording the new album yesterday up at John's. And we got pre-production done, which is kind of just like laying out the structure of the song and trying to see like what kind of instruments are we going to use what kind of you know stops are we going to have etc so we got three or four i think four songs done for pre-production which is great and uh today we're going to go back and finish hopefully the other four we got jp coming in today to lay down some drums uh they want to meet jp and um kind of see what he can do so being in the studio is about the best place for me to be that's what i love to do so i'm, ha I'm a happy guy oh. So here at John's house, at the studio, his little home studio here with John and Scott, the producers that helped me with uh, my last batch of songs. And then John did uh, the EP, Fly With Me. And so you might hear drums going on in the back. It's day two of kind of pre-production, which is the part of the process where you kind of just lay out, you take the song from just like an idea on an iPhone recorder to just something to lay the foundation so that way we can figure out, okay, how long is the song going to be? What are the breaks in the song going to be? What instruments are we going to use? What types of sounding instruments are we going to use? So we're just kind of laying that out today and so I'm excited because we've got some good drum tracks going. Globally, for the music, I'm just getting more and more uh, passionate and motivated about music so I thank God for that. I don't want to lose that uh, creative energy and that passion and he's given me more of that so that's super exciting. Uh, I'm trimming down responsibilities. I realized for me it's meditation, music, or meditation, marriage, music, management. Those are like my four things. <laughs> Miles. Five things. <laughs> it's all M's in my life. I'm trimming other responsibilities just so I can focus. I feel like right now is a you know, you gotta seize, you gotta jump while the iron's hot. You gotta seize the moment and ride this uh, this feeling I got and double down on, on, you know, what my heart's telling me to do. On the way up here today, it was funny. I was like, it, the studio is like a 45 minute drive or so from my house. And I was thinking, oh, that's, that sucks. You know, I wish it was closer. But then I was like, actually, I get to do my vocal warm ups. I get to listen to my audio book on tape. I get to just like think. Usually I'm always putting something on, so it's good just to think. And so I was like, hey man, I actually like this extra space. It's nice that, you know, I can drive up here and get this space. So staying positive, it's always the mindset thing. Everything's neutral until you flavor it, so. What's up everyone? So I have this new song, it's called I Love Mexico, and I wrote it with my wife actually. It's the first song we co-wrote together, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm a little surprised at the song that came out because it's a party, a party song about Mexico, but I'm glad I actually have her on co-writing it or else I might get in trouble. So it's kind of about back in the day, just SoCal life, going down to Mexico, having a good time, and felt like I needed to write a song that really encompassed that. So this is how it goes. Lights of fire in the sky, deep in Mexico, getting wasted. Party at the house tonight, Jose Cuevo being pulled so she naked. 6 a.m. and one out of five, made it to this hour. Passed out in the shower. Mexico. Made some mistakes. I can't lie about it. Looks like not going home today. Pacific goes, the women and the waves. Good times and hard times are down here. But man, I love Mexico. 